but we continue to hammer point the, the, the point across that we're looking for Chatham, Chathams off the bottom. So for example, Tesla. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Just to kind of uh, rewind, uh, if you guys missed uh, any part of the weekend update. Uh, again, last week was a, a very, very good um, kind of a scenario for the Bulls to kind of test their jaw. Um, some boxers, again, just kind of going back into the to the fighting world, some boxers, they have a glass jaw. One hit to the, to the jaw, they go down. Uh, Bulls really did a great job last week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, intraday, intraday pulls, they got bought. Monster gap down on Thursday session, it got bought. Friday, we rallied. So going into this week, again, if you didn't watch the update, um, again, Bulls were very in control. It, it was very, very tough to, to have a scenario that the Bears feel uh, really, really good inside kind of entering – uh, today's session, again, they dropped the ball. They had every opportunity uh, to seize control, at least for the short term, um, you know, in the overall scoreboard, and they failed to do so. They dropped the ball. Uh, technology, again, continued its strong run uh, from Friday's session. And again, the, the, the theme uh, continues to be the same thing. You have strong stocks uh, resting, right? Still very, very aggressive uh, option flow in a lot of names. Uh, that have big runs. So, for example, you have an Amazon, uh, you have an Amazon scenario that broke out above the 50-day moving average, broke out above this whole macro channel here, and now it's just basing out here. And what, what's great about what we're seeing on Amazon, even the days that it's resting, they're not resting with a 70-point pull, right, on the average uh, true range. They're they're resting. You know, you know, today the stock was flat. I mean, look at look how tight these candles are. This is a very very tight distribution. It means uh, sellers are very comfortable at these levels. Even Nvidia, right? Even a name like uh, Nvidia, that you know they've ran up uh, ever since it reclaimed the 50-day moving average, and now it's the four-for-one split. And now there's you know it's days away from getting that split, and you see still really aggressive uh, betting going on in the options market. I saw eight seven, I saw eight fifty weeklies, eight seventy-five weeklies. I saw nine hundreds. Uh, for next week. So you can see, again, buyers are still very much in control. Sellers are fear, feeling comfortable. And when you have a market that the sellers are comfortable and they're complacent, I mean, why wouldn't the market uh, continue to melt up? You know, even names uh, like Apple that you figure, well, it has to rest. This is its rest day. I mean, you're talking about, look how tight, look at the narrow range of this candle on Apple versus the ranges that were moving up, especially in the last week or so. So technology continues to be good. The names that have big, big runs are, are resting on tighter channels, contri uh, con uh, con contrition, right? Contrition of channels. Uh, and the most important part, uh, and the most important part is there's no selling pressure. Even on the days that the market um, really came in and tested bottom levels, you never got that uh, that fear level, and that's very, very important. Uh, and now you're starting to, again, start to kind of uh, leave all the high-flying names away. Again, if you're still getting dips uh, on an Apple or NVIDIA or um, uh, a stock like, for example, like Amazon, that's great. That's exactly what you're looking for. But now we continue to leave the extended ones alone, especially into strength, and start looking at names that are, again, coming out of bottom channels. If you've been watching this video just in the last two months since the 50-day moving average of the bulls, we're not continuing to go to the well for the ones who had that big, you know, monster, monster run. On dips, absolutely. Certain channels in the middle of the week are going to give you much more defined risk than others. But we continue to hammer point the, the, the point across that we're looking for Chatham, Chathams off the bottom. So for example, Tesla woke up today, right? We talked about Tesla on the weekend update. Uh, we talked about that 660 level. It broke above the 660 level, confirmed the 670 level, and just, just absolute moonshot. Again, here's a stock that's coming off, again, the bottom of the channels. It reclaimed the 50-day moving average a couple of days ago after three, four days of selling. We already know where it got rejected twice. And now we're stone throws away 
from, again, a channel, a macro channel that if it confirms, again, if you trade Tesla, you kind of know what happens if this macro channel confirms. Look how much upside you have. And again, they are positioning the options market. They're coming in uh, for the 700 weeklies, for the 710 weeklies. Uh, there were some really aggressive leap buyers uh, towards uh, 2021. So this thing is very, very close. Look at Boeing, right? Look at Boeing. Boeing's gotten rejected now once, twice, three times, four times in the same channel here. If Boeing wakes up, and again, I'm not a big fan of Boeing, but I'm going to trade Boeing off this channel just because th four times it's been rejected off this channel. And if it starts reclaiming this area, you have 10 to 14 points of upside with a dollar downside. It's a lot of value. Again, that's what you're looking for. Even a name like Disney, and, and Disney had a really good uh, opening weekend from Black Widow. I haven't seen it yet, but the numbers, I think they, they said it was 220 million uh, worldwide, which was great. I mean, it's a big, big number, big uh, you know number they posted on the scoreboard. This is the first close over daily supply. If it starts confirming uh, this channel here, look how much room you still have twelve to you know twelve to fifteen dollars on Disney at twelve. Look, look at a name for example, a name like BLL, right? I have no idea what this BLL is, right? Does it really even make a difference what BLL is? Okay, you had this monster candle coming out of the channel, huge, huge channel. It got rejected at the top of the supply here. You had two days in a row of consolidation. You, they reclaim the five-day moving average. And if this channel gets above, you know, you got room coming into this 88 and then 92 levels. So there's still a lot of meat uh, on this bone, uh, on this rally. Uh, some names might not be conventional to a lot of people. But, hey, there are still so many names that can give you that average true range. Even a name like CCIV, which is Lucid Motors, right? You saw the really big aggressive speculation money coming into them. They were coming in for the 28 and a half weeklies, right? 28 and a half, 29, $30 weeklies. And this is when the stock was at 26 and change. Again, if this thing starts confirming today's channel, why can't it go to 28 and a half? Why can't it go to the top of the range here uh, at 29.81? That's where the buyers are betting that there's a measure potential move. So again, in this type of environment, stay away from the ones that are going on strength, right? They were up, you know, 20, 25% over the last couple of weeks. Stay away from those stocks, right? Stay away from on strength on names like NVIDIA, despite uh, very, very close to, uh, you know, getting its, uh, you know, really big run ahead of its um, ahead of its split. Look for names that are on the bottom of the channels. They're just the safest stocks. Because remember, guys, the, the, the one thing that you have to understand, yes, these stocks are all runaway trains, and that's great. But also keep this in mind. We saw last week, as a point of reference, three days of the market got pulled first. Well, what do you think of the first stocks to get pulled, right? The video got pulled very aggressively. Uh, Amazon intraday got pulled very, very aggressively. You know, these are the names that have the biggest moves. So if gravity kicks in and doesn't make a difference at what channel you're looking for, if gravity does kick in and the market does have a res day or excuse me, even a, a, a red day, right? I know it's crazy to say, if that's the case, those stocks are going to be pulled the first, they're going to be pulled the hardest. And the last thing you want to do is buy dips into a first day move uh, of a potential back test. So again, Bottom channels, middle channels, confirmation channels look really, really good. Uh, even a name like Snow, I am still watching. Uh, had this monster move on Friday. Uh, rest of today, great. That was actually a perfect uh, bounce spot. We'll talk about it, uh, individual pivots today on the Twitter feed. But you had you had a beautiful res day on Snow. If this thing rests one or two more days and starts attacking this top channel, you could get a big move. Again, remember on Friday, you had the 290, the 295, even the 300 near term uh, call buyers coming in. So a very structural res day, uh, really, really nicely done by the bulls. Again, not a lot of selling pressure today. Uh, on the other side, again, complacency from the sell side. They are comfortable and that is a really good recipe uh, for higher prices. So going into tomorrow again, you know, I'm staying away from anything extended, uh, watching names that are coming out of the channel. Obviously, uh, Tesla on any dips. Uh, I'm obviously watching into rising 60 minute support. Uh, Amazon on any dips. I'm still rot watching to any, any support. I won't buy them on strength, but on dips, you have to. Again, they're not even positioning anymore for the th weekly 3800s. They're coming for the 3900s. They're coming for the 4000 on Amazon as well. And again, the, the tighter the range is right now in the consolidation, right? The higher probability when it breaks that range, it's going to start. It's next leg up. So a uh, pretty busy day today. You have a lot of things 
uh, waking up. Not was everything great? Not everything was great, but the names that really confirmed aggressively did very, very well. So let's talk about it. Uh, coin uh, 257, 261 macro levels uh, never got there. Not even came close. Uh, this was my first trade of the day. Uh, with snow, uh, and again, had a big run yesterday. Usually, again, the formula is any single time uh, you get a big run up, right? You have a really, really big move on the daily, and the next day it opens up lower and goes into rising 60 minute support. That's where you want to buy stock. Uh, so, any pull into the 263, 264 rise in support for experienced traders, obviously over 270 got rejected four times pre market. Uh, so nice trade. I mean, nice trade here on snow. And here's the rising support that we talked about, right? It pulled into this rising support here. Uh, it reclaimed and ran really, really nicely, closing the 267. I still like it. I still think if you know this thing starts taking out uh, the top of the range, it could be very, very good. But again, just a point of reference, guys. Anytime you see a stock putting a really good, strong move on daily, next day opens up lower. Watch for that bounce on a potential 60-minute support. That's where they trap. Uh, late and eager uh, shorts. Uh, 86 on Chewy uh, needs to build. Not a big move at all. Um, you know, ran up like a dollar or so and then, you know, reverse. So uh, it ran up off that 86, went to 87 and change, came right back in. Nothing uh, nothing great. It's same uh, same kind of notes as uh, Shop, uh, not Shop, uh, of Snow. Had a big rally on Friday, rested today on half the volume. If this thing starts turning up and starts reclaiming Friday's prices, this thing should... Uh, start its next leg up. Uh, Avago had it I, again for all you guys who caught a great job. Um, I didn't trade Avago. 481 needs to build. This is not. It was supposed to be. This is a slow mover. Not. It's not a slow mover. It was a slow mover. If you're going to trade it, probably better as a swing using the previous day's low. And Avago came out with news in the middle of the day that it was. Uh, buying somebody and look what the damn thing did. If you caught this, congratulations, guys. This thing absolutely exploded uh, off this 481, went all the way up to 494. If you got it, congratulations. I I didn't trade any Avago today. Just a big, big move there uh, as well. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods didn't trigger. TTD didn't trigger. Uh, Space got absolutely murdered. You kind of thought this was going to happen when they gapped the stock up. You know, look, it was a successful flight. I think it was cool. There's a lot of Talk was he really in space? Maybe he got close to space, or maybe who the hell knows, right? I'm not. I'm not going to debate this. Uh, but the moral of the story is uh, that they sold the news, right? They sold the news for experienced traders only. Uh, green to red, short on the news. Sell the news. Note this is not a pivot, just momentum. And space got killed. Space got really, really killed. Uh, it traded up to 59 pre-market, and it went uh, red in the day and went all the way down. Uh, to 39 and change. So huge move there. Congra congratulations for you guys who caught that. Uh, Tesla was definitely the biggest mover. It continues to be the biggest mover. continues to be the greatest stock uh, ever, ever, ever. Um, you know, Tesla, this was it. Multi-layered set setup here. 666 needs to confirm for the initial move to 669. Okay, I got long off the 670 break. The reason why, you know, let me show you the, all the layers in the stock. So 666 needs to confirm. Why was 666 a big level first? Well, if you look at the previous high, was right here into supply was 65.70. The initial pre-market high was 65.69. So we knew that 66 level was supposed to be big. The first move traded right to the 10-day moving average, which was uh, 6.70. So we knew that level. Then it retraced. Then once it got reclaimed 6.70, I got long off this level. Now. If you look at continued the, the you know the continue the, the anatomy of this trade, so it took out 66, traded the 669, it backed off, reclaimed the 10-day moving average. If this starts building the 10-day, especially we can get a gap fill to 700, yada 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 yada. Any close over 669, a Tesla continues to be just an absolute monster. And here's this, you know here's all the dynamics. Uh, it took out uh, it took out this whole. Uh, 660 level pre-market, 666 that we talked about, uh, reclaimed 670 and traded all the way up into the 687 level. Uh, look, do I think it's going to test 700 tomorrow? Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it goes into the 690s. But again, you have to continue to buy this thing, in my opinion, on dips once it takes out macro. And again, if this thing takes out macro, you guys know what happened the last time it took out macro. All it did was 
uh, put in uh, a $70 candle in a 12 hour period. So we're still watching that macro level. But again, from the micro point of view, we are definitely uh, keeping an eye on, uh, you know, good channels that we can take advantage of before uh, the macro scenario. So I, I think the stock is higher prices than that. Uh, ZS uh, 231, 75, 232 needs to build, got upgraded this morning, actually had to put in a big run uh, prior to selling off, actually went from, you know, from 32 to 36 and changed a nice move before uh, it reversed. Uh, NVIDIA, absolute monster. Uh, 807, 808 needs to build for the initial cash flow move to 812. Any close over 812 starts a macro move. And you can see NVIDIA, just an absolute beast. Uh, here is the 807, 808, went to 812, went to 817, went to 821. Monster, just an absolute monster on NVIDIA. Boeing, I still like. Uh, never got to that area. Amazon, I still like. Macro got rejected at the same area there. Uh, space got destroyed. Tesla, let's roll. Uh, ZS is flying. Snow, perfect bounce on the way up. Just a, like I said uh, in the webinar, in the Twitter feed, just an absolute savage open for us. So really great job. Great job, guys. Absolutely great job there. Uh, 93, I thought, I thought was the next stop. This is where I still believe is the next stop. You got 700 repeat buyers. Uh, coming in on Netflix, uh, CCIV 2675, 27. Uh, it went to 2740 perfectly. And you can see here on the comments, 29 weekly buyer comes in. 2740s is the first supply, then 2850s. The high of the day is 2740. So it needs to reclaim that. Uh, Avago, new highs, uh, 400 on deck. Yada, 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 yada. Tesla, just again, take more sales up, new highs, and yada, yada. Anyway, guys, so. Uh, good start, right? Good start to the week. Uh, hopefully, everybody is doing well. Uh, again, continue to, to put in the work. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Everybody clicks in their careers at different times. And the most important thing is have faith, continue to work, put your head down, and good things will eventually happen. Guys, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.